Well, they have one of the toughest and most dangerous jobs, but in one county, the low salary is making it hard to keep sheriff's deputies and correctional officers. This is the issue facing the Stewart County Sheriff's Office. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs spoke with the sheriff there who says he's already lost more than 20 correctional officers and three deputies. We pay less than any of the cities, any of the two cities in Stewart County, any of the surrounding cities like Erin Police Department or Henry County. Running a law enforcement agency is not cheap. Stewart County Sheriff Frankie Gray has been in charge for two years. It's a job he loves, but it comes with some challenges. We've dropped our crime rate. We, our solvability rates been up. Our, our drug arrests has increased almost 400 percent. So we're doing a good job. But if we want to maintain the level of service that we're giving the citizens, we're going to have to come up with more money. The sheriff's office has a staff of 50 correctional officers and within the last year has lost more than 20. It's a matter to shut down a pod of inmates and ship some inmates to some other jails and that's going to be costly for the county. Gray says he also lost a total of six deputies in a year and are currently down three. They all left for other law enforcement jobs with better pay. Stewart County pays its deputies $15.46 an hour, $4 to $6 less per hour than any bordering in surrounding counties and cities. The correctional officers start pay is $11.90 an hour. If I keep losing deputies and can't hire certified people in the fall, there might not, there's a possibility that I might not have enough SROs to cover all the schools. And I don't want that because the safety of the schools is one of the number priorities. But I, I've got to look, I've got to maintain uh, safety for all over the county. Grace says they will likely have to cut back on non-emergency calls. He's asking the county commissioners for more money in the budget. I think the, the commissioner will work with me. I, I think they will, but they've got the whole county, and but I've got the sheriff's department and, and the safety of the people to worry about. In Stewart County, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. Sheriff Gray will present his budget request to the committee on March 30th.